Combining real footage and animation is so cool. And it is also a very trendy style at the moment. Hey guys, I'm Ina from Cashew and today I'm going to show you how to animate this. The project files will be in the description, but I would encourage you to try it on your own before downloading my files. I'm super excited, so let's get started. <laughs> Today we'll be creating this animation in After Effects. It's a real footage combined with animation and I created this post on my Instagram last month and all of you guys liked it, so I decided to create a full tutorial on this. So let's get started. Let's first create a new composition by clicking Ctrl N. Let the width be 1080 by 1920. And uh, yeah, so this is the composition. And now let's just create a simple line. Let's change the stroke. I'm gonna leave it at 118 for now. Let's change the color so it looks more like a flame. And actually, I'm gonna adjust the stroke a bit more like this. Now, let me open up content, shape, stroke, and then taper. And now let's change these settings. The start length should be 51 and length 43. Start with 10 and with 29. Start ease 33 and I'm gonna make the end ease 36. Now let's add the wave warp effect. So just search it in your effects panel and apply it. And now let's change these settings. The wave height should be 25, the wave width 175 and the direction zero. And now this is how it looks. And now we are going to apply the wave warp once again. So wave height minus five, direction zero and wave width. I'm just going to play with it, but let's leave it at 80 for now. Uh, now let's duplicate this layer and change the path a bit. That would be the little flame that's inside the flame. Let's change the stroke and the color of it. Actually, let me change the stroke once again. And this is how it looks. I'm going to change the shape of it uh, again. Okay, I think this looks great. Now, let's create a new composition with the footage that we have. I'm going to cut it. So it should start from here. And then I'm going to go at the start of my composition and click the left bracket. And it would end right here. Mm, yeah, here. So I'm going to click N. So this is my footage. Perfect. Now open up the tracker panel. If you don't have it, click on window and then tracker and then click on your footage and click track motion. Now you see this panel over here and you can set your track point. So in my case, uh, oops. Okay. So in my case, you'll be here on my finger. So I am going to adjust it and then click on the play icon over here. Now I'm just gonna speed this up, but that will take a couple of minutes. When it's done, you see a bunch of keyframes are tracking the motion of the finger. Now create a new object by clicking Control Out and Y. Then in your tracker panel, click Edit Target and make sure the layer is on the new object you just created. Then click on Apply, and then you see all these keyframes applied to the new object that you created, which is pretty cool. Let's import the frame that we created. I'm just going to change the rotation and the scale so it looks like it's coming out of the finger like this. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to parent it to the new object that we created. Um, and actually, it should start around here. OK, so I'm going to bring it up here. And now let's open up the flame and we're going to add the trim pad effect to make it appear with some nice motion. And we are going to animate the end. It's going to start at zero and then it's going to end at 100. Then I'm going to copy and paste the keyframes for the other little frame. OK, so this is how it looks. And as you can see, it starts the other way around. So we need to change the direction of the pad by clicking on this icon over here. So this is how it looks. And now let's add the um, the other motion. So when the flame disappears, so I'm just going to uh, copy and paste these keyframes. And then at around this time, I'm going to copy and paste the first keyframe. 
And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, make sure you like, comment and share this video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for your time and I'm gonna see you next week.